I work with a, a community and a and a and a audience that you know doesn't think we've sort of gotten any better. Doesn't think that the that the country has necessarily changed. And so sometimes we're asking these questions, and I don't necessarily know who always has answered the public opinion polls. But 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 the folks that I communicate with every day don't necessarily see sort of large scale changes. What we do see is a is is some difference in terms of who our opponents are. And over the last several years, there's been a real change in terms of um, the role of government versus the role of corporations and how those things have, have sort of really fused in terms of the impact on the everyday lives of, of black people. When, 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 um, you know, when Dr. King was assassinated, he was standing up for sanitation workers. And, um, and he was, you know, and it was really about demands of government, you know, the demands of what government needed to do to ensure um, equality. If you look at sort of the modern movements of our time, whether it's the fast food workers, workers standing up at Walmart, even some of the work that's happening around criminal justice and surveillance in our communities, it's about an overreach of corporations and how corporations have infiltrated our political system and the impact that that will have for years to come um, on black folks and marginalized people um, you know, all around the country. And the role that organized to the civil rights movement um, will play in the next 10 or 15 years in that work as we, as so many of our organizations receive so much funding from those same corporations that are lobbying Congress on policies that impact and hurt our communities.